How's it going guys? It's a beautiful, bright and sunny Friday morning here in the United of Kingdoms and I believe it's time to do another video. Now normally we've been smashing the readers questions video which has been a lot of fun but how long has it been since we've done an eBay sellers tips and tricks video? Let me tell you, it's been a long time. Do you want to do one? I want to do one. Let's do one. eBay sellers tips and tricks, it's time to pimp your business and bring on the clicks, yeah, yeah. So in today's eBay sellers tips and tricks, we're going to be talking about eBay templates. So if you're just getting started, uh, you may or may not be using eBay templates. It's something you can do to quickly enhance your listings. Now there are a few things that you have to remember. Less is more when it comes to eBay listings. In my time on eBay, I've seen some horrific eBay templates with animation, GIFs, horrible colors. When people are looking on eBay, they have a very short attention span. So you need to get their attention and give them the information they need very quickly. So it needs to be simple, understandable, and get your main benefits across as soon as possible, which means a headline, a subheadline, and a small and to the point text maybe three or four lines to get the main things across. Quite often, that's all they're gonna read. They'll look at the pictures, they'll look, read a few lines, they'll make a decision. So make sure that all the essential information is in those first few lines. If you ramble on about stuff and not get to the point, people are gonna get bored and they're gonna go away. This is especially true on eBay listings because there may be several other people selling a similar type of thing and you want them to choose you over everyone else. If you're taking forever to get to the information, they'll just click and find another one. So using templates are a good way to have a uniform structure to your listings where it looks neat and tidy and professional. You can also put additional images into the listing and as you will probably know if you've watched some of my videos, images are so important to get the point across. Images really sell your products. So more images means more opportunities to get someone to hit that buy button. So if you're just starting out and you're struggling with eBay templates, you kind of know that you can use them, but you haven't used them because you're not sure what you're doing, then I've got you covered because I have created a set of eBay templates. I'm lying, I had my graphics designer create a set of eBay templates and I'll be giving them to you for nothing. Yes, in a fit of unusual kindness, I had my graphic designer make up these basic eBay templates and I have even created a step-by-step -step implementation video to show you how to put them into your eBay listing. So you can follow along with the video, use the templates and see exactly how that's done. So if you want to get hold of that, there's a link in the description box below. Stick in your email address and the templates will be instantly emailed to you. You will have to confirm you want to receive the information because of anti-spam regulations, all that sort of good stuff. You hit the confirmation link and then you will instantly get access to the video and the downloads and the resources I mentioned on the video. If you enter your email address and you don't see the email waiting for you, if you are a Gmail user, check out your promotions tab. Google has a habit of sending these type of videos to your promotions tab. All you have to do, if you find it there, drag it back to the inbox and Google will ask you if you want these future emails sent to your inbox and you can just say yes. So head over there now, get your templates and make that your task for this weekend. Try and find some time to download the templates, watch the video and make your eBay listing stand out from the crowd. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this video today. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence, and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.